Hello and welcome to Deadline Northeast, a program that gives you an overview of the developments in India's Northeast region. I'm your host Karim and here are the top stories of today's program. Indian Armed Forces conduct flypass to thank Corona warriors. Three LPG cylinders delivered at doorsteps in Northeast region amid lockdown. And Tripura Mechanics creates physical distancing COVID-19 bike. Expressing gratitude to frontline corona warriors, the Indian Armed Forces flew over hospitals, roofs and police memorials this week. The Indian Air Force craft in various cities across the state showered flowers petals over many government hospitals, including Assam and Shillong. Here's more. The Indian Armed Forces, including the Air Force, Army and Navy, performed various activities on May 3rd as part of the nationwide campaign to mark a gratitude to the frontline workers battling the novel coronavirus. The Indian Air Force's compact jets and transport aircraft flew over hospitals in various state capitals including the northeastern states in Guwahati, Arunachal and Shillong and showered flower petals on the medical staff. The Indian Air Force uh, has planned to express uh, this. With regards to this, uh, all across the country, we'll be carrying out flower part, uh, flower uh, petal stars at the various hospitals. We are also performing the people's band at the hospitals, and also we are uh, conducting a fly past from West Dibrugarh towards uh, east, and also from north to south. Along with the rest of the country, the doctors, nurses and paramedics of the Northeast region have been delivering their services in the fight against COVID-19, risking their lives. Some doctors and other staffs were seen recording videos of the activity on their mobile phones. In Shillong, the IAF carried out fly pass to salute Corona warriors. Flowers petals were seen showering down to Bethany Hospital, near Greens and Civil Hospital. All of you deserve a big hand. So I would request all of us who are present out here, let's give a big hand to all our medical staff who have worked day and night in this time of crisis. The RAF Sukhoi SU-30 MKI flew past Guwahati Medical College Hospital and Assam State Legislative Assembly. Thousands of people in Assam witnessed IAF's spectacular fly pass. Uh, today, we uh, honored all the corona warriors of the entire country. We from the armed forces shows our respect and salute all the corona warriors throughout the whole country. In this honor in Gauhati, we have uh, the helicopters sovereign petals uh, over the hospitals. Right now, we are in Gauhati Medical College and Hospital in Gauhati. Similar scene was also witnessed in Arunachal Stomo Reba Institute of Health and Medical Sciences and Hospital Nahar Lagoon, one of the designated COVID-19 hospital of the state. A large number of medical officials and people from all walks of life cheered the healthcare workers for their relentless services. Moving on to Shillong amid strict implementation of nationwide lockdown in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak, Assam Rifles has been working tirelessly across the Northeast region to spread the awareness of COVID-19. Recently, a unit of Assam Rifle in Shillong distributed foods and essential commodities to the underprivileged during the ongoing crisis. Have a look. Continuing its effort to stand with the people, the Assam Rifle Unit Shillong recently distributed essential commodities to stranded migrant workers and underprivileged people to help them fight the coronavirus pandemic. Rice, pulses, sugar, milk, reusable face mask and other essential goods were distributed. Physical distancing was also maintained while distributing the food articles. जहाँ तक हम हो सके अपने आसपास के गरीब लोग हैं, जरूरतमंद लोग हैं, 
उनको मदद करने के लिए क्योंकि लॉकडाउन के वजह से काफ़ी लोग ऐसा हैं जिनके काम नहीं हो रहा है इसलिए हमने ये आज का प्रोग्राम रखा है ताकि हम हमारे तरफ से जितना हो सके उनको मदद कर सके maintaining social distance and with mask on their faces a long queue was seen at the happy valley of shillong the beneficiaries expressed their gratitude towards assam rifle and praised the unit for reaching out to them dal mila hai chawal mila hai chini mila hai doodh mila hai to iske liye aap kya kehna chahenge क्या कहूँगी कहूँगी मैं अच्छे अच्छे के लिए मिल रही है अच्छा का बात है ये सब हाँ हम लोग का गरीब का आदमी के लिए आज समय तो है मिला चावल चीनी और दूध तो आज आप खुश है हाँ मेघालय इज स्लोली इंचिंग टूवर्ड्स अ कोविड 19 फ्री स्टेट विथ 10 ऑफ द 11 एक्टिव केसेस डिक्लेयर्ड रिकवर्ड बाय हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज According to reports, 24,382 people have been screened, while 6,815 people are under home quarantine, and 312 are in institutional quarantine as of 4th May 2020. The Assam Rifles Unit reached out to the Eden Children's Home in Okrul District, Manipur, Mission Blind School at Vijaypur, Kakching Districts. Chura Chanpur and in some areas of Mizoram Moving on to Tripura Labor Day is observed every year to pay tribute to the contribution of workers across the world to commemorate Labor Day Russian food packets and other essential commodities were provided among daily wage laborers in Agartala Hesmo Each year people across the globe commemorate May 1 as International Workers Day. The day also called as May Day is also observed as a public holiday in many countries. Despite pandemic ravaging the country, Tripura observed May Day by providing essential commodities to afflicted laborers in the capital city Agartala. बहुत अच्छा है गरीब के लिए बहुत खरा है हम लोग के आदमी लोग दशक खरा है देते हैं जगह जगह पर बहुत खुश हैं हम लोग इंटरनेशनल लेबर डे जिस तरह मनाया जाता था पहले आज के दिन ये सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग के कारण ये संभव नहीं यहाँ का जो राइवल यूनियन का सारी ये हमारी जो मेंबर्स लोग हैं इन लोगों ने एक 200 के करीब फूड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए ये लोग प्रयास किया तो मैं पहले बोलूँगी कि जो राइवल यूनियन का जो औरत लोग है और इस इनका जो मेंबर्स है ये सबको मेरा बधाई ए लोकल क्लब नेम्ड राइवल यूनियन टू के नोबल स्टेप ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ड्राई राशन डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स हैंड सैनिटाइजर्स एंड मार्क्स अमंग डेली वेज लेबरर्स अराउंड टू हंड्रेड लेबरर्स वे बेनिफिटेड एज देयर अर्निंग्स हैव वैनिश्ड ड्यू टू प्रिवेलिंग लॉकडाउन इंटरनेशनल लेबर डे है श्रमिक दिवस तो श्रमिक दिवस के लिए कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा हम लोगों को लिए हम लोगों को भी सामाजिक कोई हम लोग ऐसे रेशन दे रहे हैं चावल दाल सॉल्ट एंड आलू और मिल्क ब्रेड ये सब कुछ दे रहे हैं हाँ हाँ और मास्क भी दे रहे हैं सैनिटाइजर भी दे रहे हैं All Tripura Auto Rickshaw Workers Association undertook a similar drive and distributed dry ration to the rickshaw drivers. The packets were given to more than 200 auto drivers at Samalia Bazar in Agartala. करीबन 200 के आसपास हम ऐसे श्रमिक को ऑटो श्रमिक को हम लोग खाने पीने का सामग्री दे रहे हैं ताकि कुछ दिनों तक इनका संसार का गुजारा हो जाए. तो इस सिलसिले में आज हम लोग ऑल त्रिपुर ऑटो रिक्शा वर्कर्स एसोसिएशन के मदद लेके मेरे इलाका में आज जितने भी ऑटो वर्कर्स है श्रमिक है उनको हम लोग ये त्राण सामग्री हम लोग दे रहे हैं बेनिफिशरी ऑटो ड्राइवर्स एक्सप्रेस ग्रेटिट्यूड बाई एक्नोलॉजिंग द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द एसोसिएशन 
Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. 13 people, including 10 Border Security Force Jawans, have tested positive for coronavirus in Tripura's Ambasa on 4th May, taking the number of cases in the state to 29. The new COVID-19 cases include two children, a wife and 11 BSF Jawans, all from the 138th Battalion of BSF in Dhalai district, about 100 kilometers from Agatala. The 12 personnel who had tested positive for the virus are being treated at the state's GB hospital. The government of Manipur is conducting a regular screening of drivers and handymen of trucks who are transporting essential commodities during the COVID-19 lockdown. All the trucks are being made to park at ISBT after reaching Imphal through the national highways. A number of trucks are checked round the clock at ISBT before unloading at their respective destination to ensure every truck is accounted for as per information from the entry gates at Mao and Jediba. Meanwhile, quarantine centers have been set up in all districts for putting the state people who are returning from other states. 84 stranded passengers from Guwahati returned Imphal recently by road and four buses. Before entering the state, the travellers were screened at the screening centre at Mao Gate, which is the entry point to Manipur. However, no one was found with symptoms during the initial screening. Dr. Shashi Kumar, spokesperson Manipur Health Department, said that all the 84 passengers will be put under quarantine for 14 days as a mandatory action. Manipur Health Minister L. Jayant Kumar Singh said that the state government is seeking the help of the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Home Affairs to give permission for chartered flights to bring back the stranded natives scattered in different parts of the country. Around 2,800 pigs have died in Assam due to the African swine fever. The Assam Veterinary Department has confirmed the outbreak of African swine fever after samples were tested positive at the National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases. African swine fever, or ASF, is a fatal disease in domestic pigs with almost 100% mortality rate. Assam claims the virus has come from China just like the novel coronavirus. Despite the go-ahead from the centre, the state government will not cull the animals immediately and choose an alternative option to prevent the spread of the disease, state's animal husbandry minister Atul Bora said in a press conference. The government of Arunachal Pradesh is making arrangements to bring back its stranded citizens across the country. According to reports, approximately 15,000 people, including students, are stranded outside the state. In the first phase, the state government is transporting back the stranded citizens in the northeastern regions. Earlier, the government had shared an online link asking people to give details about them and places where they were stranded. They were offered one-time financial assistance of Rs 3,500 each by the government. All the 292 persons stranded due to the nationwide lockdown were brought back to Mizoram recently from Manipur. As per the officials, 139 of them were from Aizol district. On their arrival, medical experts took their medical screening and vehicles used during the expedition were sanitized at the Mizoram-Manipur border. Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga has also urged the public to continue their support to the authority while adhering to lockdown guidelines and maintain social distancing to contain the spread of the deadly virus in the state. As a relief measure in the time of coronavirus outbreak, under the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana scheme, around 8 crore beneficiaries of the Ujwala Yojana are being provided with free LPG cylinders over the period of April to June. A report. To fight the economic losses suffered due to the coronavirus pandemic lockdown, free LPG cooking gas cylinders are being given away to 4.50 crore beneficiaries under Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana scheme. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in a press conference last month announced a comprehensive economic package to help the poor during the nationwide lockdown. The Finance Minister said free LPG cylinders will be provided to 8.3 crore families from April to June 2020 under Ujwala scheme. For the three months, they will be given free cylinders. For the three months where we think because of the disruption there would be problem, they will be provided 
free cylinders and this is expected to benefit 8.3 crore BPL families. An ex gratia amount of 500 rupees per month for the next three months so that they will be able to run the affairs of their household. According to the officials, the demand of LPG across the northeast region shot up due to panic buying among the customers. Free LPG gas refills were also delivered to thousands of beneficiaries in many parts of the northeast region. According to Mizoram Food, Civil Supplies and Consumer Affairs Department, around 54.4% of beneficiaries under PMUY have received free refill gas cylinders during the lockdown. हम सब श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को धन्यवाद दे रहे हैं इस लॉकडाउन के समय में भी हम सबको हमारे घर तक गैस पहुंचाने के लिए और साथ ही में हम धन्यवाद दे रहे हैं आई एम दी इंडियन गैस के जितने भी ऑफिसियर हैं जिन्होंने इस दुख के समय में हमें फायदा किया था According to reports, a total of 28,121 beneficiaries have been registered under the PMUY scheme in Mizoram and 15,304 beneficiaries have received free gas cylinders so far. Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmendra Pradhan had urged all the stakeholders in the LPG cylinder supply chain to work diligently and in a systematic manner to speedily increase the delivery of free refills to the beneficiaries. I am a Pantropa, Tubasuba, no Bayada, the city, Yang Diraga, Equity, Paraki, Prime Minister, Equity, the Makta, Lida, Beta Makani, Hydena, Lupasama, Hapirapa, Aduga, Yaski, Oina, Lupasanipanga, Maidra Matui, Simaga, Hapirapa, Aduna, Equity, Sail, Jiziki. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal visited Indian LPG bottling plant at Sarapara Mirza Vijaynagar in Kamrup district and took stock of the installed capacity of the bottling plant to meet the daily requirement of cylinders. With the threat of coronavirus soaring in the country, an automobile engineer from Aralia village near Agartala has designed what he calls the COVID-19 bike, an electric motorbike that allows the rider and the pillion to maintain a distance of one meter between their seats. Let's have a look. As physical distancing has emerged as one of the most efficient practice to prevent the spread of coronavirus, an automobile mechanic from Aralia West Tripura has created a unique battery-operated bike which ensures social distancing. The creator modified a regular petrol-run motorcycle into a larger frame and placed bicycle seats in the front and rear at a one-meter distance. I have made this bike for this reason because the COVID-19 problem is running from COVID-19. एक ही तरीका है कि आप सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग को मेंटेन कीजिए तो जैसा कि हमारी गवर्नमेंट भी अभी बोल रहा है कि इस लॉकडाउन के टाइम आप घर में रहिए तो अगर आपको किसी तरह से घर से बाहर निकलना ही है तो आप कैसे निकल सकते हैं इसका मैसेज मैंने इस बाइक में दिया है साहा आल्सो रिप्लेस द पेट्रोल इंजन विद 750 वॉट डीसी मोटर एंड अ 48 वोल्ट बैटरी व्हिच टेक्स अप द 3 आवर्स टू फुली चार्ज एंड कैन हेल्प द मोटरसाइकिल रन 80 किलोमीटर ऑन अ सिंगल चार्ज द फ्रंट सीट एंड द बैक सीट हैव अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 1 मीटर साहा सेड दैट हिज इनिशियल प्लान ऑफ क्रिएटिंग दिस कोविड-19 बाइक was to drop his nine-year-old daughter to school post-lockdown, but he dropped the idea as he would need permission from the local authorities to run on the street. To give the usage of green energy a push, Saha opted for a lithium-ion batteries to power the electric bike. This is Make in India a concept in which I want to show that what can happen to petrol's vehicles. और अगर आप पेट्रोल के बिकल के बारे में अभी से नहीं सोच रहे हैं तो आगे बहुत ही खतरा है। 
Saha, who is also a YouTuber, has gained popularity on social media and hopes that his creation will encourage entrepreneurship in the country. With that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. Do connect with us through our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at AnyIndia underscore ANI. Like and subscribe Roving Report YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest news updates from the Northeast. I'm your host, Karim, signing off. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and take care.